Steel String Acoustic Guitar The Steel String Acoustic Guitar is a modern form of guitar that descends from the nylon strung classical guitar, but is strung with steel strings for a brighter, louder sound. Like the classical guitar, it is often referred to simply as an acoustic guitar. The most common type is often called a flat top guitar, to distinguish it from the more specialized arch top guitar and other variations. The standard tuning for an acoustic guitar is EADGBE, low to high, although many players, particularly finger pickers, use alternate tunings, score datura, such as open G, D god GBD, open D, DADFAD, or drop D, DADGBE. Steel string guitars vary in construction and materials. Different woods and approach to bracing affect the instrument's timbre or tone. Many players and luthiers believe a well made guitar's tone improves over time. Decrease in the content of hemicellulose, crystallization of cellulose, and changes to lignin over time all result in its wood gaining better resonating properties. Steel string acoustic guitars are commonly constructed in several body types, varying in size, depth, and proportion. In general, the guitar's sound box can be thought of as composed of two mating chambers, the upper bouts, about being the rounded corner of an instrument body, on the neck end of the body, and lower bouts, on the bridge end. These meet at the waist, or the narrowest part of the body face near the sound hole. The proportion and overall size of these two parts helps determine the overall tonal balance and native sound of a particular body style, the larger the body, the louder the volume. Any of these body type can incorporate a cutaway, where a section of the upper below the neck is scalloped out. This allows for easier access to the frets located atop the sound box, at the expense of reduced sound box volume and altered bracing which can affect the resonant qualities and resulting tone of the instrument. All of these relatively traditional-looking and constructed instruments are commonly referred to as flat-top guitars. All are commonly used in popular music genres, including rock, blues, country, and folk. Other styles of guitar which enjoy moderate popularity, generally in more specific genres, include Traditionally Steel string guitars have been made of a combination of various tone woods, or woods that have pleasing resonant qualities when used in instrument making. Foremost for making guitar tops are Sitka spruce, the most common, and Alpine and Adirondack spruce. The back and sides of a particular guitar are typically made of the same wood. Brazilian or East Indian rosewood and Honduras mahogany are traditional choices, however, maple has been prized for the figuring tag can be seen when it is cut in a certain way, such as flame and quilt patterns. A common non-traditional wood gaining popularity is sapele, which is tonally similar to mahogany but slightly lighter in color and possessing a deep grain structure that is visually appealing. Due to decreasing availability and rising prices of premium quality traditional tone woods, many manufacturers have begun experimenting with alternative species of woods or more commonly available variations on the standard species. For example, some makers have begun producing models with red cedar or mahogany tops, or with spruce variants other than Sitka. Cedar is also common in the back and sides, as is basewood. Entry level models, especially those made in East Asia, often use NATO wood, which is again tonally similar to mahogany but is cheap to acquire. Some have also begun using non wood materials, such as plastic or graphite. Carbon fiber and phenolic composite materials have become desirable for building necks, and some high-end luthiers produce all carbon fiber guitars. The steel string acoustic guitar evolved from the nylon or gut string classical guitar, and because steel strings have higher tension, heavier construction is required overall. One innovation is a metal bar called a truss rod, which is incorporated into the neck to strengthen it and provide adjustable counter tension to the stress of the strings. Typically, a steel string acoustic guitar is built with a larger sound box than a standard classical guitar. A critical structural and tonal component of an acoustic guitar is the bracing, a system of struts glued to the inside of the back and topped out steel string guitars use different bracing systems from classical guitars, typically using X bracing instead of fan bracing. Another simpler system, called ladder bracing, where the braces are all placed across the width of the instrument, is used on all types of flat top guitars once back. Innovations in bracing design have emerged, notably the A brace developed by British luthier Roger Bucknell of Filedy Guitars. Most luthiers and experienced players agree that a good solid top, as opposed to laminated or plywood, is the most important factor in the tone of the guitar. Solid backs and sides can also contribute to a pleasant sound, although laminated sides and backs are acceptable alternatives commonly found in mid-level guitars, in the range of used $300-$1,000.
and, from the 1960s through the 1980s, by far the most significant developments in the design and construction of acoustic guitars were made by the Ovation Guitar Company. It introduced a composite round back bowl, which replaced the square back and sides of traditional guitars. Because of its engineering design, Ovation guitars could be amplified without producing the obnoxious feedback that had plagued acoustic guitars before. Ovation also pioneered with electronics, such as pickup systems and electronic tuners. A steel string guitar can be using any of three techniques. The last type of guitar is commonly called an acoustic electric or electroacoustic guitar, as it can be played either unplugged as an acoustic, or plugged in as an electric. The most common type is a piezoelectric pickup, which is composed of a thin sandwich of quartz crystal. When compressed, the crystal produces a small electric current, so when placed under the bridge saddle, the vibrations of the strings through the saddle, and of the body of the instrument, are converted to a weak electrical signal. This signal is often sent to a preamplifier, which increases the signal's strength and normally incorporates an equalizer. The output of the preamplifier then goes to a separate amplifier system similar to that for an electric guitar. Several manufacturers produce specialized acoustic guitar amplifiers, which are designed to give undistorted and full range reproduction. Until the 1960s, the predominant forms of music played on the flat top, steel string guitar remained relatively stable and included acoustic blues, country, bluegrass, folk, and several genres of rock. The concept of playing solo steel string guitar in a concert setting was introduced in the early 1960s by such performers as Davy Graham and John Foley, who used country blues finger-picking techniques to compose original compositions with structures somewhat like European classical music. Folly contemporary Robbie Basho added elements of Indian classical music and Leo Kotke used a Fatiesque approach to make a first solo steel string guitar hit record. Steel string guitars are also important in the world of flat picking, as utilized by such artists as Clarence White, Tony Rice, Brian Sutton, Doc Watson, and David Greer. Luthiers have been experimenting with redesigning the acoustic guitar for these players. These flat top, Steel string guitars are constructed and voiced more for classical-like finger-picking and less for chordal accompaniment, strumming. Some luthiers have increasingly focused their attention on the needs of finger stylists and have developed unique guitars for this style of playing. Many other luthiers attempt to recreate the guitars of the golden Arab C.F. Martin and Company. This was started by Roy Noble, who built the guitar played by Clarence White from 1968 to 1972, and was followed by Bill Collings, Marty Lanham. Dana Bourgeois, Randy Lucas, Lynn Dudenbostel, and Wayne Henderson, a few of the luthiers building guitars today inspired by vintage Martins, the pre-World War II models in particular. As prices for vintage Martins continue to rise exponentially, upscale guitar enthusiasts have demanded faithful recreations and luthiers are working to fill that demand. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.